Clip Studio Paint and Krita are both very popular illustration software. They are both highly praised for their competence, but are they really? Uh, spoiler alert, I yes they are. So let's not waste too much time and get right into the comparison. Uh, Krita is primarily used as an illustration software. <laughs> it is still equipped, however, with 2D frame by frame animation capabilities, along with some web design and comic book slash manga creation support. This program is available in all imaginable platforms, including uh, mobiles and tablets. Uh, this encompasses Android, iOS, and Chrome OS as well. It is worth noting that this program is open source, so it will cost you a whole lot of nothing to download and install. There is no misleading packaging, as this program does exactly what it is designed for. It will fulfill all your needs when it comes to 2D related asset creation. We would say it makes for a great alternative for premium illustration software, but that would honestly be a grave understatement since it can stand just fine on its own and in some regards surpass those aforementioned programs. To elaborate on that, we'll need to dive a little deeper. To better familiarize you with Krita, let's start with the basics. The interface is very clean and very easy to read, but also also extremely flexible and easily adaptable to whatever workflow is suitable to you at any given time. It comes with a coolerist like color wheel, which in case you have never used a similar color wheel before, trust me when I tell you, you are missing out. It makes the coloring process so much more intuitive. A Krita also includes a built-in stabilizer for your lines as is standard these days. For its numerous brushes, these brushes happen to be supported by nine different brush engines, so realistic you can replicate any texture under the sun, including unique ones for particles and special effects. Krita will even allow you to import your brushes from other software such as Photoshop. Beyond just simply illustrating, as mentioned, this program is also able to support 2D frame-by-frame -frame animation, and if you are willing to jump through way too many hoops, uh, you can even do some simple puppet animations as well. It has a dedicated interface for animations with all the expected layers frames and onion skinning features. Last but not least, you can also use it for graphic and web design through vector graphics and text support. It can also streamline comic books, manga, and webcomic creation in all its forms with a variety of dedicated tools including but not limited to things like pre-made speed bubbles and grids. Long story short, Krita offers a perfect package for all sorts of 2D visual media. It may not be as specialized or as oversaturated with features as some of the competition, but it's still a very well-optimized illustration software that can also dabble in other visual fields. Clip Studio Paint is yet another very popular illustration software, but it is more well known for facilitating the creation of all sorts of visual novels, including comic books, webcomics, and mangas. And to a certain extent, CSP is even well known in the animation scene. If you have internet access, chances are you've heard of CSP, so no need to beat around the bush too much. Clip Studio is available for both macOS and Windows for around $54 for the Pro version and around $237. $7 for the EX version. Keep in mind, prices can change depending on when you see this video. You can purchase it once and for all or commit to the monthly subscription of 99 cents per month. Uh, CSP is the true definition of jack of all trades as it is widely used in every field imaginable, so let's take a closer look at what it brings to the table. Once you open CSP, you will be met with multiple interface options for the different things that it can do. All of them share a similar layout for the basic features, the drawing space, the color wheel, the layer panel, and etc. But each interface has unique features that help you better do what it is you are set out to do. The visual novel interface, for example, allows you to organize your pages and view all of them in order. You can organize by chapter and within each page you get many features that help you with layout and paneling as well as customizable speech bubbles and text. It includes screen tones and even pre-made backgrounds to help you best streamline your process. The animation interface gives you your timeline with all the expected features, however, one of the more unique features of Clip Studio Paint is its 3D viewer. You won't just be able to download and import and view 3D models at your own convenience, but you would also be able to edit them and even make them your own, and obviously you would also be able to draw on top of them. It also comes with many quality of life improvements, it has an amazing perspective tool, and for whatever this is worth, it also comes with AI supported features that 
would simplify fills and to a certain extent other aspects of coloring such as shading and dynamic lights and shadows. Uh, but take that with a grain of salt. Oh, that was quite a lot. So now let's move on to how these two software directly compare to each other. Starting with how easy they are to learn. Uh, to be fair, both Clip Studio Paint and Krita operate under similar philosophies and they both follow a very similar learning curve and adjustment period. If you have used any illustration software before, then both of these should be a very easy pickup. If we need to crown a winner though, uh, purely by how easy they are to learn, uh, it will have to be Krita. It's a lot less overwhelming for an absolute beginner, allowing you to focus more on the basics and less on all the tools themselves, and you won't have to worry about things like 3D models and uh, sorts. But for anyone else, they both sell a very similar experience. And now for the real deal. What are the pros and the cons of each? I would be lying if I said that Krita's main selling point wasn't its price, or like thereof. It's free. It's very easy to use and there are plenty of ways for you to even better learn this program through a very dedicated community and an abundance of resources online. You are even allowed to change onto it, provided that you know how to code. It offers anything anyone could want from an illustration software. And to be completely honest, can't think of many other cons. You could take issue later with perhaps the more limited animation tools or the not as advanced features for other forms of illustration media, but if your primary goal is making animations, we'd recommend you use the dedicated program anyway. Uh, similarly, Clip Studio Paint doesn't have very many deterrents, except for maybe the price and the relatively steeper learning curve, even though it's still very accessible, but even those don't affect it too much because it's still very accessible and affordable. And for the excess of features it offers, I would even say it's reasonable. Other than that, it's really the perfect package anyone could ask for, and for the more specialized among you, it's among the best in the market and the domain of visual novels in all of its forms. So, for the first time in as far as I can think of, we might have gotten ourselves our first tie! <laughs> I genuinely think that both programs have their merits, and we always repeat that the choice is ultimately yours and it would depend on what you personally seek out of these programs, as at the end of the day, there are tools meant to serve you and your experience. But in all honesty, choosing a winner here would feel disingenuous simply by how similar the experiences they offer are. The only two things that can be a deal breaker are price and or specialization, in which case the choice is obvious. Other than that, you seriously can't go wrong with either of them. Both have our stamp of approval. Well, that was fun. We hope that you enjoyed today's comparison. It had plot twists and everything. Uh, let us know in the comments what your experiences are with these programs. Share with us what you think. Don't forget to like and subscribe while you're at it to satisfy the algorithm overlords. Thank you for watching and we'll catch you soon. Take care.